Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we're going to do the top 5 overall breeds. What I mean by overall is that we're not going to pick the one with the most speed or with the one with the most health. No, we're going to take a look at all the categories like speed, health, stamina, acceleration. We're going to take a look at that and we're going to see which breed does best in every category and we're going to take the top 5 of them. So a pretty cool thing and if you guys want to subscribe and like that would be really appreciated. Okay, so the number 5 place. This one was a little bit surprising to me because I thought there were a little bit better breeds but this one is a really good breed overall and that is the American Paint. So the American Paint, we're going to take a special look at the Grey Overo because that's the best coat of the breed so definitely worth checking out. So the Grey Overo is a work type with standard handling and the, the stats are actually pretty good overall. They're not amazing in speed and acceleration like some of the others but the overall stats are really good. So the stats are 5 health, 5 stamina, 4 speed and 4 acceleration and you can buy this at the Stumbleweed Stable of the Epilogue 1. So this is definitely a good horse overall. So if you don't want a horse that like drives really fast but have a, doesn't have a lot of health then I definitely recommend a horse on this list. So yes, now we're going over for our number 4. So for our number 4 we got a little bit of a special one. This one is called Buell. This is actually a Dutch warm blood. You can get him for free. I will put the link in the description on how to get this one for free. But like I said, you can get this for free and it's a really good horse. This is the best Dutch warm blood out there. And I definitely recommend this to anyone who wants a good horse. Overall, just an amazing horse. A really good breed overall. So, you know, it shines gold. <laughs> I know there's nothing more I can say, it <laughs> just signs gold, it's pretty cool, so just check it out. So the stats are 6 health, 6 stamina, 5 speed and 5 acceleration. So I'm not sure about these 6 health and 6 stamina. I definitely, I think that's around 6 or 7 because I wasn't able to find or to get the specifics, but it's around 6 or 7. So overall a really good breed and definitely recommend this to anyone who wants a good horse. Like I said, this is free, so definitely pick this horse up and it looks really cool as well. So now we're going over for our number 3. For our number 3, we're going to pick the Turkoman. This one was a little bit special because the Turkoman and our number 2 has actually has the same stats. But I feel like the number 2 is a little bit more stable than this one. So that's why I went with the Turkoman for a third place. So the Turkoman is in total 3 coats and you can pick them actually all because they're all the same stats. So pretty cool, but I'm just going to pick the gold one because I still have that one in my stable. So the gold one is a race and war horse with standard handling and I really like this coat guys. I said it in a lot of videos, I really like the Turkoman breed. This is a really cool breed so I definitely recommend this to anyone. But the stats overall are really good. So the stats are 7 health, 5 stamina, 6 speed and 5 acceleration. And you can buy this horse, the gold one, at the Saint Denis stable after chapter 4 for around $950. So like I said guys, this is a really good horse overall so I definitely recommend to get this horse just a really amazing horse just check him out guys if you don't have it already because it's a really good amazing horse okay so now we're going over for our number two here we are with our number two guys this one was also a little bit harder because the number one has more overall stats but it's a little bit lesser in stable and you know it, it scares a lot more than this one but the this overall stats are be definitely better so if you don't going to dangerous areas then the number one is definitely the better horse for you okay so this one is called the Missouri Fox Trotter and we're gonna take a look at all the codes to be honest because you can pick all the codes like I said they all have the same stats but I'm just gonna pick this silver daple pine top because I really like this one so the silver daple pine top is actually a race and workhorse with standard handling and the stats are really good like I said they're the same as the Turkoman but I found this one to be the better one because this one doesn't scare it easily and is a little bit more stable than the Turkoman. So the stats are 5 health, 6 stamina, 7 speed and 5 acceleration and you can buy this coat at the Blackwater stable after epilogue 1 for around $950. So I definitely recommend this breed if you're going to to places where you're gonna shoot people or where a lot of alligators are or where your horse gets scared easily then I definitely recommend this one above the number one because the number one scares a lot more than this one but the number one is the overall better stat um, so definitely a great horse to teach out to as well so now we're going over to the number one for our number one you probably guessed it is the Arabian one and especially we're gonna take a look at the Rose Grey Bay so this one is the best horse overall, the categories is the best horse in the game. 
But I definitely recommend the number two place, the Missouri Fox Road, because this horse scares a lot easier and it's not that stable as the other ones in gunfights and when you go to crocodiles and when you just go out hunting and stuff like that, I definitely recommend another breed than this one because it's scary and you know it's a little bit agitated all the time. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so but the stats are definitely way better than the other ones. So the Rose Grey Arabian is actually a superior type with an elite handling. So the superior type is, I think only the Arabians has that and that's really amazing. So the stats are 7 health, 7 stamina, 6 speed and 6 acceleration and you can buy this Rose Grey Bay at the Blackwater Stable after Epilogue 1. And like I said, you definitely have a lot more um, speedier horses than this one but this one is the overall best horse in the game. So I definitely recommend this to have this one in your stable, not just to, just to drive around with you to be honest. Because I don't take this one to hunting and stuff like that. But yeah guys, that was it for the video. I hope you do enjoy. If you did then maybe subscribe and like. If you found it you know, good or useful then just do that. And uh, I hope to see you all in my next video guys. See you later. Have a good day. Bye guys.